Stock and Icy here. Been out hunting around today, doing some stupid shit out in the woods. So we just got ourselves a little red squirrel here with this uh, 410 shotgun. So today I'm going to show you how to clean and dress him, skin him up and get him ready to grill on the barbie. So we'll start here. So first you're going to gut him. So you're going to make an incision here all the way up to the sternum bone. Then you're going to reach up and pull everything out. Then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to cut skin down the legs, basically peel the skin off the legs and then these are small enough you can just pull it apart. So, I'm going to start here, go right in his ass. Breaking my pickup just slipped a little bit, almost rolled down the hill, so there's that. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Come in here, keep cutting all the way up. Don't mind my pickup, it's just gonna roll down the hill. Alright, I'm going to go press the brake further into my pickup, otherwise we're going to slip it and lose it down this hill. Alright, we're back now. Almost, almost <laughs> lost the truck down the hill. That was interesting. Anyway, so we've got our incision here, almost all the way. Now, just need to get through this diaphragm here. So you can see through this film here, it's all of his guts. So his skin's peeled back. We need to get through this diaphragm. So we're going to grab it. Make another small incision here. Sharp knife really helps with this. There we go. Get through. So now we're just going to stick our finger in here. Rip him open. Get in there, get some. All right. Cut through here. You can kind of tear your way through this. If you're afraid of blood, this is not. I do not recommend this. But I'm not, so here we go. Right, there he is all laid open. So now you're going to go in here, underneath his sternum here, so you can see there's his rib cage. You're going to go up underneath it, get all the way up in there. Actually, it helps too if you cut through his sternum. Like that. There we go, open him up, reach up in here, grab his esophagus. There's his esophagus right there. Gonna grab it. Pull all of this nasty shot. There we go. There's his guts. That's food for the crows here. Where's uh? Where is this? His heart. You could actually eat this. His heart there. Actually, they killed him right there. One of the uh, BBs from the shot went right through his heart, so. so you've got heart, you've got lungs. I don't know what that is. Heart, lungs, this lung's blown up. Stomach, intestines. There's his liver. So you could actually eat this too, his liver here. Good source of iron, instant protein. So like that, you could actually just pound this the way it is. Just rip it off and pound it, but I'm not going to do that. But uh, you could. So there you go. All set. Now we're going to take up here. Don't mind me. 
don't want to get blood all over me shit. Okay. So now, like, cut up his leg. Like this. Man, this thing fucking stinks. Oh, broke his leg there. One of the uh, BBs there from the shop broke his leg. Actually, that kind of helps me out because we're going to end up breaking his legs anyway. So you're just going to separate. That leg's kind of fucked. You're going to separate, basically, your sense of skin from the underside of his body. Like this, like this. Just tear it away. Like that. Right here. There we go. Now, we've got, this would normally be intact here. So, there we go, there's that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Getting it started is the most difficult part. So, once you get this leg part, his legs all skinned up, it's easier because you can actually just pull it apart and I'll show you how that works. Now, separate skin from his ass here. Alright, so now we got all of this separated off of this part. This is the hardest part. I'm just going to take the last piece of his leg off here. It's already ripped off anyway. So, there we go. Looks like that. Now you're just going to grab his fur, grab his haunches, and pull down. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, a vehicle come through. Stopped him and he asked what we were doing, so told him to uh, keep an eye on our channel. So, spreading our video, words around about our, word around about our videos. So anyway, back to what we were doing. We're going to take this fur here, separate it. Like I said, so we're just going to grab it, pull it down slowly. Don't pull too hard or you'll rip it or rip body parts off so just nice and slow like this this piece of shot that just fell out of there and you can actually see the shot from the gun right there these two black three couple of holes all of that that's what killed him so now this creepy little Oh, I ripped him in half. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Don't, uh... That look like a small person to you. Looks like a small person to me. Werewolf or something. Alright, so now we're going to keep going. Still good to eat. So, separate this. Uh, there we go. Got most of it. It's just the pot that's stuck on his head there. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to remove his head because you can't eat it anyway. So now this up over, just gonna cut through, through the spine, there it went, perfect, there we go, and we are through, so now we've got an inside out squirrel's head, so if you're ever curious what that looks like, now you know. So, here we go got our squirrel front and our squirrel rear so if I had done this more gently it would have ended up looking like that you also would have still had a leg so but as you can see it's not like we lost much meat off this calf muscle there <laughs> so good to go so he's good we can uh, go ahead and cook this up and uh, here's the rest of his pooper giant bogey there we go all right so yeah well that's how you do that so now you know so we're gonna throw this up and uh throw this up on the youtube and now you know how to cut a squirrel we're gonna do a video later probably how to prepare it and cook it and make sure it's all the cooked all the way through and good to go so thanks for watching this is stock and aussie so be sure to check out our channel and uh yeah we'll be good to go so have a good day